Here's the bad news. Nobody can motivate you. Nobody. We can't. We cannot motivate you if you don't know what you want. We cannot motivate you if you don't know you, you don't have a goal. We cannot motivate you if you don't know your purpose. We cannot motivate you if you don't know what you want from this job, for your career, or why you are here at the workplace. That's the topic for today, because motivation is so important. And I see young generation, young people being lost in the world of corporations. Employers, managers, supervisors, leaders are struggling to motivate them. And they are going above and beyond the, the, the call of duty, really what they're supposed to do to keep them going, at least not motivated without noticing that it has nothing to do with them. This is the topic for today. Hi, I'm Sylvia, an organizational psychologist, and I'm trying to make sense of the corporate world. That's what I do. And I really hope that I can help you with this video um, because it's important. I see a lot of, I see hundreds of videos online, social media videos, young people, men and women, talking about that they, don't, they, they, they are not motivated. They don't have goals. They don't have purpose. They don't have, you know, they have almost reached this nihilistic state that, oh, it doesn't really matter. Now, it's a problem because it's not a good state to be in, right? But it, it is also a problem for organizations. And that's my job. And I always talk to my managers and leaders about it. And I also talk to my team members and people who I used to manage when they were demotivated. My first question is always, do you have a goal? What are you working towards? Why are you here? Why are you doing this job? And it's nothing to do maybe with I'm building my career. No, it could be anything. As long as you know why you are doing it. And there is a bigger picture somewhere there that you are working towards. Because if you don't know your goal, what you want to achieve, what's, you know, the purpose of that job or what you want to really take for, the, for this job to give you, maybe related to outside life. There is nothing we can motivate you towards because managers and role, uh, leaders and supervisors role is not to motivate you is to create an environment that is motivational. And that's always my conversation with managers and leaders. And once they understand that, it's so easy. That their role is really to create an environment that is motivational for employees. That's our job, right? But when you don't know what you want, no environment will ever be motivational for you. And that's why Young people, especially, I'm talking to young people, but it really, it, it's, it's, you know how much I love you. You just need a little guidance. Um, but it's, it, it applies to everyone, really. That, that's why you guys are job hopping, because you go here, you go there, you don't find your place in the world. And I, we all been there, <laughs> you know? But the difference is that we didn't find our place, but we just stick, stuck with things a little bit longer than you do. And it's because of our parents, because of our upbringing. This, you know, that's the difference. It's not, not that we knew what we wanted, <laughs> but we were told, you're going to go and work here. You're going to go and marry that guy or that girl. You're going to go and have children. You're going to build a house. You're going to study this. So back in the days, and I don't advocate for that, people were told what to do and they went and did it. So they didn't even have the time to think about what is my purpose, what I don't like, my motivation. They were forced. And that brings to the first lesson I would like to share with you. My grandmother was the greatest teacher when it, com a teacher when it comes to motivation, discipline, and, 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 and goals, really, and purpose, rather, the goals. So the first lesson she taught me, unknowingly, I don't think she knew what she was teaching me, is discipline. 
I am very highly disciplined when it comes to doing things that I don't want, I hate, I dislike. I hate them. I do them first. I'm like, okay, I hate this, so I need to do it. And I think it came from, and I, I do the same approach with my employees when they start moaning and complaining about it. I'm like, just get it done and finish the story off. Like, the, it has to be done. Like, there is no, you know, other option. And when we were young, we could never choose what we eat. We ate what she put in front of us. And from time to time, my brother and I, we tried our luck and said, oh, we don't, I don't like it. She would look at you very kindly, never upset, never angry, never raise her voice, never hit us. I did not ask you to like it. I asked you to eat it. And that was it. There was no choice. So you learn, I mean, we learn, we certainly, I think I'm better than my brother. Uh, personality traits, obviously, comes into the picture, how that lesson is going to show up and turn out for each individual. But um, I learned that there will be plenty of things in life, and she used to say that. Who told you that life is fair when I complained about, you know, oh, it's unfair. Who told you life is going to be fair? Oh, it's fair. And she also used to say that, there will be a lot of things in life you don't want to do, but you have to. So these things constantly on my mind, somewhere in the background, right, going on. And I learned, and I'm very good at doing things that I don't like, I don't want. That's the first thing I do in the morning, probably, or when I get to work. So discipline will help you to stick with something long enough to actually know, do I actually like it or not? Because what I see with the young generation, they are coming into the workforce unmotivated, no goal, no purpose. So they're trying, right? And that's, that's fine. That's what you should be doing. But you don't stick with it enough for you to even have an opinion about that job. Because two weeks later, a month later, three months later, you resign saying, oh, it's not for me. Well... <laughs> You didn't even test the, taste the soup. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eat it. And then you will tell me at the end. Um, so discipline will help you a little bit. But let's go to the second lesson. Because this is, I don't know where my grandmother got her lessons from. God bless her. She was very rather uneducated. She already attended six classes in a nunnery. Yeah, that's where my well uh, upbringing coming from. <laughs> I was brought up by a person who was brought up by nuns. So, and she said, maybe three times in her life, maybe twice, maybe once. I swear to God, it was just like, but it stuck with me. She said, always make sure that you know what's the purpose of the man in your life. Because if you don't, one day you wake up realizing that you have a person next to you who just farts, burps and, you know, snores and you won't even know the reason why you are putting up with it. <laughs> she was weird. <laughs> but it's true. If you don't know what's the purpose of that person in your life, that job, that whatever you do, then there is no goal because goal, purpose, I want to achieve, outlook, I'm working towards something, it all goes into it. So here purpose, I'm not talking about your life purpose, why was I born here? Nobody knows, very few. But what is the purpose of this job that I'm currently doing? It must be a stepping stone of something, for something or to something, right? Okay, what is it? So managers, leaders, when you are, having these conversations, when you are onboarding young generation, have that conversation. Are you motivated? Why? What is motivating you? Because without a goal, a purpose, or what, something that you want to achieve, there will never be, you will never be motivated. And no environment will ever be motivational for you because you don't know what, okay, what is it that I want? So we cannot motivate you, okay? And here I really wanted to talk to also um, to, to the managers and employees to stop that desperate fight to keep people, to motivate them. 
you actually need to sit down and look at their employees and ask them if they have the basis for your motivation no, things. Because organizations, the basic motivations is very easy. And in, in every normal basic organizations, it's in place. Salary, treat people with respect, have some training and learning opportunities and growth opportunities. Um, you know, have good relationships, make sure that people have good relationships and employees with their supervisors. So the environment is great. And that's, there is still motivation when it comes to the workplace. Everything else is just a bonus. These are the basics. But if your employees are, don't have a goal or purpose, or they don't know what they want from their career, from their life, from, from, from that particular job, or from that particular company, none of that will matter. And all you're going to try to do is, oh, they are demotivated, disengaged, whatever, more activity, more this, more that. Stop. You can put whatever you want in the workplace if your employees are not motivated. And that's why we do the employee experience and the employee well-being combined when we are working with companies. Because you need to look at both sides. If employees are not healthy in terms of physical, mental, financial, social, and that part of it is, the motiv uh, is motivation and goal and purpose, no matter, they could work in Google. I'm not saying Google is the best workplace, but you know what I mean? And they would be unhappy because there's nothing. So employers, look at that. And employees, know your role in your motivation. Because if you don't know what you want and you want me to figure out your life for you and your career and what you're supposed to do, because I have this conversation with 30 years old people, 30 plus. Oh, I don't know what I want. And I understand that. Sometimes from time to time, we all get lost, right? And when you are young, you are almost always lost. Like you're just finding your place. That's perfect. Start with something, small steps. Don't think big, oh, I need to have all that. No, small steps because the brain cannot comprehend such a thing and it's demotivating because it's just un un unachievable, right? Oh my God, I need to do. But you're going to build that house brick by brick. So first step, right? So manager's role is really create the environment that is motivational but for you to be motivated, you need to know what is your goal. You can only find any environment motivational. Because you can even work in the worst place. The money is great, maybe. And you have something outside. You're building a house. You're building your business. You're building whatever you do. That's motivation. You know why you are doing it. You're not going to get demotivated. You might have really bad time at work. But it's not, it's not motivational issue, right? Now, it will be motivational issue within the workforce, which they can demotivate you very quickly, right? But your internal, your intrinsic motivation in terms of why I'm doing this, it's, it's going to remain. And all you will do is not complain about the job per se that you have to work. You're going to go and find another job where there's a better work environment. You're just going to complain about this particular job because it's bad. So it's a very different conversation that you can have with the employees. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, really. I made notes, so I'm just checking if everything is covered um, because it's an issue. It's an issue, but um, discipline, you remember, you don't need to like it. You just need to eat it and make sure you know the purpose of whoever or whatever you have in your life. Because if they don't have a purpose, you're just gonna end up doing things or having people in your life for no reason. And it's the same with your in, in, um, uh, motivation. We cannot motivate you. Don't expect employers, your friends, your family members, anybody to motivate you. You need to figure out life. Sorry, it's hard, but that's the only way. I hope this helped. Bye.